As we're about to uh, partake of the communion, I would like for you to think about John 3.16. Just keep that verse in the back of your mind for a few moments while, as, as we go through this little talk here, that um, you remember John 3.16. I'm sure you all know what that says. But I want to talk about a conversation between Jesus and Satan. One day, Satan was gloating before Jesus that he had caught the people of our world. And just what are you going to do with these people of the world, asked Jesus. Oh, I'm going to have fun with them, said Satan. Satan continued, I'm going to teach them to be mean and hateful to each other. I'm going to teach them to abuse and hurt each other. I'm going to teach them to cheat each other and to steal from others. I'm going to teach them to drink strong drinks, smoke bad things, and curse. I will even teach them to kill others. And that's just the beginning. I'm really going to have fun with them. Jesus looked at Satan and said, How much do you want for them? Satan replied, Oh, you don't want these people. They're not any good. They will mock you. They will curse you. They will spit on you. They will even kill you. How much? Jesus asked again. Satan sneered with a big grin and said, All your tears, all your blood, your very life. It is done, Jesus said. Matthew chapter 20, and verse 28, and Mark chapter 10 and verse 45 read almost identical. They tell us that, that Jesus came to give his life as a ransom for many. And 1 Timothy 2 and 6 says that Jesus gave himself as a ransom for all. But maybe the most famous verse of all is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes on him should not perish, but have eternal life. Let us at this time reflect on just how great of a sacrifice was made to redeem us from the, from the hold that Satan had on us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day, for this time that we can sit down and consider the sacrifice you made for us, that you purchased us, redeemed us from the devil, that we can have eternal life with you today. We're thankful for the sacrifice of your body on the cross to purchase our redemption. Be with us now as we partake of this bread, and may we consider the great love you have for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And again now, I would ask you to bow with me in prayer. We again, we're thankful for the sacrifice of Jesus, the blood that he was willing to spill for us to purchase our redemption, the, the very lifeblood of his body to redeem us so we can have an everlasting home with you in, in heaven. Thank you for your sacrifice, dear God, and thank you for Jesus' sacrifice on our behalf that we can have an everlasting hope and everlasting life. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And again, at this time, it's customary for us to mention the offering. We pray that you have set aside what God has blessed you with this week. And again, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the life that we have, the good life that we enjoy. We thank you for the blessings that we have in this physical world. We thank you for providing us with an income that we can work and get the things that we need to survive in this life. And thank you for blessing us so abundantly. And we pray now that maybe that we have put aside a right portion before you and our, our offering will be acceptable before you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.